from Manchester United. Everyone who I look up to now as a footballer. All my idols are footballers, most of them play for United. Just growing up watching them, that's just like what you want to be, what everyone, what every boy wants to be really. Maybe I could have been playing football for, for a career. If you're careful enough uh, to explain to a child, normally they understand that it's for their own benefit. Sometimes that means you have to exercise judgment um, in order to help them because they're not always equipped, are they, um, to make the correct judgment. When I was in high school, I think that was how the closest I was to ever being picked up. The Rams spot him United once. I was definitely good enough. I knew I was good enough. It was a time that he was finishing off his GCSEs and he was thinking about what he wants to do then. You're 16 and you sort of have a little bit more choice of where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to study. And he wanted to go and play football. If you succeed, it's fine. But there's so few people that succeed that the chances of him succeeding are relatively small. And that's just re reality. When me and my dad spoke about joining Rams, but I was nervous before I asked him because I had a I had a feeling that he he wouldn't let me. He didn't come and ask me. He more or less came and told me. <laughs> Patrick doesn't really ask. He tells. Um, he told me that that's what he wanted to do and that he was going to do it, and um, I was quite shocked by this. We spoke for about 10 minutes, just about, I think we argued a bit as well. I think we were shouting a bit about what I wanted to do rather than what he wanted to do. I had to put my foot down really and say, no, that's not what you're going to do. And because he was under 18, I had the you know, authority to say, you can't do it. I was annoyed, I was frustrated. I wanted to, I, I, re I really was desperate to join Rams, but I had to, listen to what he was saying which was hard because we had really like different opinions on it it was a big opportunity missed i think when someone wants to do something that makes them so happy then why would you stop them doing it but then at the same time why would you send your 15 year old 16 year old son off to play for this club that isn't like a top amazing club when my dad probably knows that he doesn't know what's going to come of it he is uh, probably going to be successful at whatever he does. But football's different, in my view. Um, my experience of football was um, that it is so unpredictable and so difficult to succeed that he would be very disappointed, probably. My dad used to play professionally when he was younger. He was. I've heard so many stories about from my uncles and from my dad's friends about how good he was. I was an exceptionally good footballer in terms of skill and I was being sought after by second division clubs. It was either football or law and the teachers told my nana that he had to do law. My nana has listened to these teachers and thought like, right, he's going to carry on with his education. It was a combination of my mother and the Catholic school. But I still think that they made the correct decision for me. He loves football just as much as me. So, yeah, he definitely would have wanted to do that as something that he can just do for a profession. Our parents both sort of got in the way. The situation was just so similar. How did you feel at the time? Terrible. Terrible. Knowing how it made you feel, was it hard telling Patrick the same? Absolutely. It's so difficult. Well, if somebody's got a dream, how do you tell them not to pursue it? It's a difficult parental thing to do. And there's always the prospect that you're wrong. If I'd have had my choice at 15, I would have gone off and played football uh, at the expense of my education, which would have been almost certainly the wrong decision for me. I am a successful lawyer and I've done very well out of life. At the end of the day, it still could be 
like a better decision for me to not join Ramsbottom and play for them. But now it is frustrating how all my friends are playing for the first team, training with the first team, playing like a high level of football. Do you love him despite all this? Obviously, yeah, I love my dad. I love him. He does too much for me. I'm, I'm grateful for everything he does. He does so much for me, he's honestly. He works too hard. I love him so much. <laughs>